Hello and welcome, this is Peter from DroneVibes.com and I'm going to show you how to edit your ordinary long exposure night photographs to give them this cool Gotham style look or selective uh, saturation using Adobe Lightroom. Please be sure to visit DroneVibes.com for more tips on long exposure photography. You can also learn more by following the links in this video to our 5 tips for great long exposure drone shots and listen to the long exposure segment of our Drone Vibes podcast. We're going to start with this pretty well composed night image captured with my DJI Phantom 3 Professional. A quick look at the metadata in the right top corner tells us that this picture was captured with ISO setting of 200 and 2.5 two second shutter speed. I prefer to keep the ISO at 100 to 200 to keep the image noise down and shutter speeds at 2 to 2.5 two seconds to capture enough light and leave me with light trails created by moving objects, a feature so typical for these long exposure shots. The long exposure technique was really intended to be done on tripod, so choose a calm night and take multiple photos as many of the shots will appear blurry. This image was captured in RAW format as the DNG file leaves me with much more flexibility in post-processing than a JPEG. First, let's have a look at the exposure. The lights in the image are pretty bright, so I'm going to try to reduce the exposure in the lights and try to bring out the detail in darks and shadows. I'll do this by first slightly reducing the overall exposure by about 0.5 and also reducing contrast, lowering it to negative 60. Next, I still want the lights softer, so I'm going to reduce the highlights to about negative 30, reduce the whites about negative 20. I'm also going to turn up the shadows to get more detail in dark areas of the image by dragging the shadow slider all the way up to roughly about 95. This basically softens the lights for me and gives me a little more detail in the shadowy areas or dark areas of the image. Now let's have a look at the clarity. I like using the clarity adjustment as it makes things pop out in a picture so I'm going to go ahead and turn the clarity all the way up to 100. This leaves me with a pretty well balanced picture but now it shows quite a bit of noise or grain typical for these low light situations. To help with the noise I'm going to scroll down to the detail section and I'm going to turn up noise reduction until the image is pretty much noise free. I'll leave it at about 100. Now let's have a look at a color and saturation. I can use these color sliders to selectively turn down the saturation in the orange, yellow, green and blue colors. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to turn the orange down to just about negative 70, 80. Turn the yellow down to negative 50. Turn the green all the way down to get rid of any green hues. Turn the blue down to roughly about 90. And last, I'm going to turn up the saturation in reds to highlight this red light on the top of the bridge and the car light trails. And that is it. Please join us at DroneVibes.com for more drone tips and tricks, news and the world's most listened to Drone Vibes podcast. And please stay in touch by subscribing to our channel, like Drone Vibes on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.